Hey, good looking. How's it going? Don't get on that. All right guys, so I've made it to the property and this house is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so what I've shown so far has been the main house, which is not where I'm staying. I'm gonna be staying in the guest house. I'll explain that in a second. But over here, Behind the pool, if you see these mountains, that is all the national park. And we'll be going there tomorrow. It has elephants, monkeys, monitor lizards, basically just a bunch of animals that might attack you, <laughs> but they're still cool. But now I'm gonna show you guys where I'll be staying. It's this guest house right here. So here is the master bedroom. And then here is the master bathroom. Hello. Then the toilet, nothing special. And then a cool shower. This is the absolute nicest house that I've ever stayed in and probably will ever stay in. So I'm just really appreciative to even be able to stay here. But right now, if you can't tell, I'm sweating profusely. So I'm gonna go for a dip in the pool. Hey, good looking, how's it going? <laughs> How do you think I should come out of the pool? Slow motion, play some like... Sexy music? Good morning, friends. Today we're going to the National Park to hopefully hunt down some elephants. Well, not hunt them down, actually. That, that was bad wording. Seek out some elephants, hopefully. Now, let me tell you really quick something that is very important while you're here that I never really thought about while being in the States. Before you can put on your shoes, you must make sure to knock them out because little critters like to use your shoes as a home. And that includes frogs, scorpions, centipedes, you name it. So you gotta go like this. Yesterday, a spider fell out of my shoe, so I'm really wary. <laughs> I make sure to do this. Also this morning, I realized one of my Crocs are just missing. Gone with the wind. Millie, do you know what happened to them? No idea. You eat that grass, that nutritious, delicious grass. Get those vitamins, hell yeah. What's your name, girlfriend? Can I have your number? Oh, she looks interested. Don't mind my hair, I had my head out my window. So I just went to go to the bathroom over there and I just turned the corner. Hi, buddy. How's it going? I just walked around the corner and I come across this sign. Beware of monkey attacks. So, I'm glad I didn't get any closer to that monkey. Guys, we just pulled up on a monitor lizard. This time I'm gonna get out and go say hi. Are they fast? Will, will it attack me if I get out? Hi, buddy. Oh, okay. So we've driven a bit more up the mountain and now we're quite literally in the clouds, as you can see. If you look over the overlook, that's all it is, it's just clouds. But there's a little restaurant right here, and I haven't really had much to eat, so I'm gonna grab something from here. They have rice and fried eggs. Apparently this is a signature thing in Thailand. Okay. 
please. Awesome, thank you. So apparently this is the highest point of the mountain that you can drive to. So this is where we're gonna stop and we're gonna head back down and hopefully see something on the way. But in the meantime, I'm gonna try some of these eggs. This is a traditional, very common food here. That's what I was told at least. I put a little bit of chili oil on top of it. Correction, it's fish sauce, not chili oil. I've been handling spicy food pretty well, but I don't wanna go too insane and make my food inedible. I'm gonna give a rating. First bite. It's very good, and it's not too spicy. Yeah. But also, I didn't put a lot of chili oil. I just put it in that bucket, right? Yeah. Apparently, right off this cliff is an elephant walkway, and about 30 minutes ago, 10 elephants just walked past. So we missed them narrowly, but I'll show you where the pathway is. You can kind of see it. It's the clearing down there in the woods where you can see where the trees kind of are missing because they've knocked all of them down. Just all the way down there. I'm walking down this path in the middle of the literal jungle. Apparently there's leopards out here, is that what it is? Yeah, they have like leopards, just big cats in general, all different varieties and stuff. So it's pretty great, you never know what to look out for. I found some type of fruit, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not gonna eat it, but maybe I shouldn't touch things. My luck, I'll be leaving here with like a horrible reaction because it touched some poisonous plant. Now this looks like it could kill you. I'm out here sweating and I, there's dozens of people walking past me in like hoodies and sweatshirts and I don't know how they're doing it. I know I'll get questions as to why I'm wearing two clothes, or like two shirts, if it's so hot. The white shirt is to collect the sweat. P.S. This will be nasty. And then the top shirt is to hide your sweat stains. That's the purpose. Because either way you're going to sweat. If you're naked or wearing a jacket, it doesn't really matter, you're going to sweat. These stairs are ridiculously steep. Like to the next level. If you were to fall down this, you're definitely breaking something. The steeper the stairs, the less stairs, so that's good. Guys, beware of slippery. Right after filming that sign, I slipped and like fell on my butt, so they weren't kidding. Beware of slippery, guys. That sign really says no swimming. I look like Edward Cullen right now. Why is my skin this white? Why yes, because I was thinking about going for a dip in the rapids. I'm just kidding. <sighs> I thought going down those stairs was difficult. Oh, going up <laughs> is twice as challenging. Also, I'm just not in shape. I could never ride a bike through this park. You guys would understand if you saw how steep the hills are in this park. So we were coming around a corner and we just come across this guy, almost ran him over. I'm glad we saw him when we did. I thought it was like a dog or something at first. Bye buddy. All right guys, this is the end of the video. Before I go, I just want to mention that this video is partnered with iChihuahua, Chihuahua Rescue in Austin, Texas. I've partnered with them before, and by partner, it really just means me shouting them out. I'm not getting anything in return. It's just me wanting to help cute animals. Why not? So, if you also want to help cute animals, you can just click on the link in my description and donate a dollar or two or whatever you want to donate. Doesn't matter, even 50 cents. I mean, just look at these little faces. How adorable. But before I go, I also want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. Thank you guys so very much. Because of you, I'm able to continue making content 
and you make my job possible, seriously. I could not do this without you. So thank you guys so, so very much. And an extra special thank you goes to Scott Becker, Eric Fast, Scott Ashley Smith, Michael Posh, Scott Sweaters, Brett Saunders, and Johan Gittens. Once again, thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate it. If you would like to join, all the information is down in my description. I would greatly appreciate it. Even if you don't, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate that as well. And thank you for returning or clicking on my video, even if you hadn't seen me before and watching my video. Thank you, I appreciate it. Anyway, this is where it's gonna end. Peace out, guys. I love you. I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.